What my dudes, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make a delicious chili because it's getting cold outside. So without further ado, let's get started. To get started with, let's make our spice mix. That's right, we're making the spice mix from scratch. Don't even think about using a store-bought spice mix because that ain't gonna fly here. So we're gonna start with one heaping tablespoon of beef bouillon powder two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of oregano, one to two teaspoons of cumin, I use two, one teaspoon of dry basil, one teaspoon of cayenne, one teaspoon, oops, However much that was of smoked paprika. One teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of kosher salt. Regular table salt is also fine for this. And one teaspoon of black pepper. And here's my secret ingredient. One teaspoon of cinnamon. This adds a lot of flavor that you won't notice until later. And now we are just going to wing jangle this together with a fork until it's mixed together like so. Now let's move on to our vegetables. Now we're going to use a green pepper, a red pepper, an Anaheim or a Cubanelli pepper, one serrano pepper, one poblano pepper, some garlic, and one large white onion. Now. Here's the easiest way to chop a pepper like this. You want to find the seams like this and just run your knife down the edge of it like so. It takes all the flesh out and most of the time you don't get the seeds in there. I cut it a little bit too close. We see each one of these ridges, you're just taking your knife all the way through there. And look at that. You peeled off all the flesh. And let's see that again on this green pepper. Again, we're just following those ridges, putting our knife in between there. We have our pepper upside down. Quickest, easiest way to get the flesh off green pepper. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same for our cubanelle. Normally I like to use the Anaheim, but they were all out at the store for some reason. But these peppers are pretty nice. They're actually kind of a mellow spice. We're going to dice all these, including our poblano. Like so. Then we're going to slice our serrano open. Using a spoon to remove the seeds from the inside. If you like your chili even spicier, leave the seeds in there. The seeds in the veins are where all the heat lies, and then you'll have a big plate of peppers. That's five peppers there, people. Next, we're going to chop a white onion in half. In half. Then we're going to go ahead and dice our onion. Go ahead and slice it through the middle like this. This is the easiest way to dice it that I know of. You want to leave that root at the end there. And then go ahead and cross it like this. And then finally you can follow up by making a cut across the top like this. This is the easiest, fastest way to dice an onion. And honestly that first cut is almost unnecessary. Show off that you're a man and did not cry a single time when you chop these onions and then move on to your garlic. You're going to go ahead and peel and give just a rough dice on all this garlic. Like so. We're using five cloves of garlic here. And we're going to add that to our onion and garlic plate. Now it's time to move on to our meats. I'm using pancetta to start my chili with, along with some sausage and some carne picada. You can actually use bacon and ground beef to replace those two meats. It's up to you. Now we're going to go on to our wet ingredients. We're going to be using one can of tomato paste. Your favorite hot sauce of choice, about one teaspoon. We're going to use a half cup of beef bone broth, or you can substitute a beer for this. A 20 ounce can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. Must be fire roasted. A can of diced tomatoes and green chilies. Some Worcestershire sauce. One tablespoon worth. This brand is actually gluten free. And then we're going to use our cans of chili beans. Using one spicy can of kidney beans. And then three other cans of chili beans of your choice with the sauce. Of mild chili sauce. Next, we're going to throw our pancetta into the pot and start to brown that, scooping it out when it's done. Save this to the side. Do not throw it out. We're going to use it later. 
Now we're going to go ahead and saute our onions and garlic in this grease for about 30 seconds before we add our peppers. Once everything has a light saute, remove it from the pot, like so. And then go ahead and add your sausage. Chopping it up, getting it a little bit brown before you add your carne picada or ground beef. Until it's all nice and brown, then you're going to add your vegetables back in there. Again, I use pancetta to start this recipe with, but you can actually use bacon. But we are going to add it back to the pan before we add our tomato paste. Give everything nice mixed together. And then I added my beef broth, my Worcestershire, and my hot sauce into a measuring cup and pour it in. Then we're just going to add all of our beans. Again, three mild chili sauce beans, one spicy. And then we're going to add our tomatoes. Mix this all together. And then we're going to add our spice mix a little bit at a time, stirring our chili and fully folding it in, sorry, until we have it all combined and we're sure that that chili seasoning has gone through all the layers of the chili. Go ahead and cover this. And then we're going to bring it to a nice low boil, like so, or simmer. And we're going to simmer it for at least two hours, stirring it intermittently. And then we're going to chop some green onions in the meantime. Now, the longer that you simmer this, the better it's going to taste. Go ahead, and to garnish, I'm going to add some cheddar cheese. I'm going to add some sour cream. I'm putting some Fritos on mine. The wife does not like Fritos on hers, so she's not getting any. Then I'm going to add some green onions to both of them. And look at that, a delicious bowl of chili. Now, let's get a taste test. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and try my chili real quick. It's looking pretty good. Let's, let's go ahead and get ourselves a bite. Mmm. That is delicious. Oh yeah. I'm going to stop talking. I'm just going to eat this. Alright, cut the feature, Marshall. And there you have it. That's my recipe for chili. Absolutely delicious on a cold day or any time of the year. Serve it over some uh, tortilla chips, Fritos. My wife likes hers over rice. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. If you could leave a comment, tell me what you want me to make next. Like, subscribe, really helps me out. And as always, toodles.